everybody. How are you today? Yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I was just talking to White Dragon Horse and I realized I haven't made a video all week. I haven't shared a story with you for so long. I'm really sorry. It's not that I forgot. I just, I come home from Mongeo and I want to play with Moose and Maida. Yeah, and I've been working longer hours. I promise I'll try to do more stories this week. But we were also talking about how we have things that make us feel comfortable, that make our heart feel peaceful. And some children have teddy bears or a favorite blanket, maybe a piece of fabric material that is really soft and cuddly that they like to snuggle with. When I was a little girl, I had a white kitty, a stuffed white kitty, and I used to cuddle it. That was my, my cuddle. And it kind of, I don't have it anymore, and I don't have a bear, but this bunny that my mom made for Nick reminds me a lot of my cuddle cat. I used to carry him around like this. I loved my cuddle cat when I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I would even suck on my fingers. I think these two fingers, I would suck on that and hold the kitty. And some, some friends suck on their thumb and some put their finger in their mouth. Whatever makes our heart feel happy, that's important. And it's okay. Mm -hmm. I know some people don't like us to suck our thumbs, but if that's making us happy, that should be okay too, right? Yeah. So White Dragon Horse was telling me, what were you telling me again? Oh yeah, White Dragon Horse doesn't have a cuddly either because he doesn't really have hands to hold it with. So he just likes to snuggle up like this sometimes with me, or in the bed that he shares with Rolly and Fritzy, he likes to cuddle with them too. Actually, just like Moose and Maida like to cuddle together, they sleep together in a box sometimes, or on my bed. But I'm just gonna put White Dragon Horse down and share a really cool story. It's one of my favorite books and my friend Susan we used to love to read this when we worked in preschool together. It's called It's the Bear. And the words and pictures are by Jez Albro. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. Eddie doesn't want to come and picnic in the woods with Mum. Here he's there. I'm scared, he said, about the bear, the great big bear that lives in there. Would you be nervous if you were going into the forest for a picnic? Would the butterflies in your tummy be going, Ooh. maybe. Sometimes I get butterflies in my tummy and that tells me I should think a little bit about before just running in. Mm hmm A bear said, Mom, that's silly, dear. We don't get great big bears round here. There's just you and me and your teddy Freddy. Now let's all get the picnic ready. Can you see? Eddie's holding his bear, Freddy. He's got his little cuddle. Mm -hmm. We've got lettuce, tomatoes, creamy cheese spread with hard boiled eggs and crusty brown bread. There's orange juice, biscuits, some crisps, and oh my, I've forgotten to pack the blueberry pie. I'll pop back and get it, she said, won't be long. But mom gasped, Eddie. Too late, she had gone. She left Eddie there with his bear, Freddy. Mm -hmm. 
How do you think he's feeling? I think you're right. He sat on the hamper and tried not to cry. I can smell food, yelled a voice from nearby. It's the bear, cried Eddie. Where can I hide? Then he opened the hamper and clambered inside. He's going to hide inside. How do you think he's feeling now? Exactly. I'm so scared. Out of the woods stepped a big hungry bear, licking his lips and sniffing the air. Mm. Mm. A teddy bear's picnic, he bellowed. Hooray! Help, whispered Eddie. He's coming this way. Can you see his eyes? He can see that big bear. Poor Eddie. He cuddled his teddy. He huddled and hid. Then a great big bear bottom sat down on the lid. Oh my goodness. What's going to happen? Yeah, I think so too. The bear munched and he crunched, he chomped and he chewed and greedily gobbled up all the food. You see, he's eating all the food that was on the blanket. There's his teddy bear. Even the bear has a teddy bear. So big. Now what's for dessert, said the bear. Let me see. Oh, please, whimpered Eddie. Don't let it be me. Don't let him see me. Don't let him come. What's he doing? Poor Eddie and his Teddy Freddy. Help! shouted Eddie. Look at the bear. Look at the bear's face. Is he angry? <gasps> I think he is, yeah, he is scared too. Was he expecting a boy in a picnic basket? Mm -hmm. I want my mom. Okay. He's cuddling his bear and Eddie's cuddling his bear, Freddy. Both scared. Eddie, I'm coming, called Mom. Are you hurt? It's the bear, cried Eddie. He thinks I'm dessert. A bear, said Mom. I told you, my dear. You're Freddy's the only bear around here. Eddie, show What's mommy going to do? Shall we look and see? Okay. Oh, look at the bear. He sees the pie. No, he's not, screamed Eddie. Behind you. It's there. Don't be silly, said mommy. There can't be. There just can't be. There isn't. A bear! Oh no! What happened to the pie? It was on her hand. It's way up there. Who's going to catch it?
You were right, the bear did. I told you, cried Eddie. Run, said Mum. Mm, blueberry pie, said the bear. I love it. And he's still holding his bear, and Eddie's still holding his bear. Yum, yum. Wow, that bear, and that's the end of the story. That bear had a great lunch. Yeah, and I guess Eddie and his mommy will go home and make some more. Mm -hmm. Well, my friends, it's time for me to go. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you have your cut, may give it an extra cut up for me. I will see you very soon. I love you so, 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 so much.